I wanted to pop in and show y'all what I did to my hair. I recorded the whole process and everything like that. It's not a wax, but it is a temporary hair color. And so I will ask that you watch the whole video because I did experience some challenges and stuff like that. Um, and so I want you to be mindful of those when you use this product. But other than that, I really just wanted to have a little quick intro to show y'all what y'all about to be watching. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. All right. So now that I'm done squirting the freaking leave-in all over myself, I'm going to use a hefty amount, and I bet you the directions probably say use a dime size, but this is what I get for being extra. So one of the first challenges that I faced when I was recording this is I feel like I use too much of this um, Curl Awakening Primer. It's like a leave-in and a detangler. I was being extra because I'm real heavy handed with my product and I was just trying to make sure I get it all over the place. But as you can see, I did a little bit too much. And when I turn around, you can also see I went ham. So when you're using this, I would advise to just use like a for real dime size amount, not like the natural girl dime size amount. Then I'm gonna go in and use another gel. So I'm using this Design Essential Gel because I didn't know how this color gel was going to hold up in my hair so I'm thinking to myself like all right let me just kind of like secure the do right so let me just go in and try to make sure my curls clump real good for real and then I'll put the color gel on top of that but this gel is actually you know thicker than the normal gel that I use so I feel like this gel was just kind of sitting on my hair um, I like this gel actually for my wash and go but it was kind of just kind of sitting on my hair and it was not allowing the gel in my opinion to really coat my strands um i don't know if you're going to be able to tell in the clip but on my hands like the color was actually very clumped up it wasn't depositing well in the back so if you use this product i would advise to just use the detangler and just use the color gel I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but by the time I spritzed my hair with water, put the leave-in in, um, I used some of that other gel. I probably had some of that other gel still in my hand. Who knows? By the time I got to the color part and my hair is thick, I feel like my hair was too wet initially for me, for the gel to do its thing and to kind of show up. So after the fact, when I was reading the directions, um, and like went to their website and stuff it does say that the color shows up better on dry hair so that would explain kind of like in the beginning when my hair was like super wet and I was just kind of like remisting it and using a lot of product I feel like I was running through so much gel trying to get the color payoff that I was looking for because it was not showing up well so I would advise that you use it on maybe like damp hair if you want to do a wash and go like I'm doing. Maybe damp, but don't like overdo it on the water because you're not going to be able to see the color payoff initially. And what you're seeing right now is my legit authentic reaction to what is happening in this video. I just felt like it was a lot going on. I was facing too many challenges at that point and I was really just trying to be a trooper and stay in the game. But after I kept working with it, I started realizing where I went wrong. So I started working in smaller sections and that's what I wanted to show you guys up close. I started working in much smaller sections. Um, I was not spritzing my hair. I put down that other gel that I was using the Design Essentials and I stuck just with the color gel and the, um, the curl primer. So you see me splitting my hair into smaller sections and I'm literally just kind of dipping a fingertip into the gel and working it from the ends up. 
and I just wanted to show you guys up close because my curls are coming out very well this way like they're clumping they're forming together you can see definition the color payoff as well because my hair wasn't being as soaked with so many products and with that water so I wanted to show you guys up close that's what I started doing and it started working out well it started coming out very well at that point So I'm just repeating the steps. I'm just working in small sections. You see me kind of splitting it off, working into small sections very carefully. I am using just a little bit of gel. Again, my hair has been air drying, so it's not as wet. I'm splitting it up, working in small sections, and I'm just kind of getting creative. So in some spots, I'm doing blue at the roots, purple on the ends, and then other spots, I'm um, alternating and I'm doing purple on the roots and blue on the ends just to give it some dimension so you can see now that I'm not having to use as much product and it's coming out very well I'm just kind of going over some of those pieces that need a little bit more pop but that's pretty much it that was how I started to work through the kink so again I'm just going to do this a little bit and I'll come back what you call an at-home color job all right let's just let's let's unpack everything okay because this is this is the final results just just in case you didn't realize this is the final results it's dried and it dried real quick by the way let's just kind of like take a step back so first of all I knew what I wanted my hair to look like I had it like kind of in my mind you know I've been playing with Colors and stuff like that, pictures and things like that. I've been playing with like, oh, I think this will look good on me. I don't know. What about this? What about this? Just kind of like doing my own thing, you know, with Pinterest pictures and stuff like that that I see on Instagram. And so I figured that this colored gel would be a good idea just to get my feet wet, just to see how the color will look against my skin complexion, my cut, my face, you know, shape of everything, like just all the little factors that you take into consideration. So I knew I wanted what look, I knew I wanted it to look a certain way. Then when I started doing it, as you saw on camera, I wasn't so sure because like it just wasn't, it looked like it wasn't forming right on my hands. Like it looked like a, enough color wasn't depositing onto my hair. It just didn't look nearly this vibrant when I was doing it, which you saw the clip. I was looking real unsure because I was real unsure. And so um, but then again, you know, now that I think about it, I didn't have my glasses on, you know, who's judging, right? You know, my eyes be tripping a little bit. So it didn't look as vibrant. The definition did not look like it was there. And I was just really like ready to take a ill. But I was like, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe it's one of those things that it look one way when it's wet and then it dries a certain way, you know, I don't know. I was just like, let's just figure it out, Britt. Let's just, let's just go. So I kept doing it, you know, finished it, got into the natural daylight. And I was like, now, you know, you babe, what now, why are you going to trip? Why are you even going to prepare yourself? Like it wasn't be, like, I was really ready to come on camera and show y'all the results. Like I thought it was going to be trash and I was still going to come on camera and I was still going to let y'all know what my experience was. But baby, now that we're here, Okay, we're here. Like, this is so beautiful. Amazing, even. Because what I did, like everything I did, you can literally see the dimensions. I mixed the blue and purple. Y'all saw me, I kind of was just putting blue in random spots. Um, sometimes I was putting it on the end, sometimes I was putting it in the middle. I just kind of wanted some different dimensions. And it shows. Like, this looks so freaking good. It looks so good. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, almost mad that this is not my permanent color. Wow. This is this is awesome. Um, The only drawback is my hands because I think because I kind of put a lot, but there is some transfer. You can tell it's kind of, like, shimmery on my hands. There is some transfer. It washed off really easy. Under um, I just used some uh, hot water and soap, obviously. 
and it came off pretty easy but as i'm touching it you know there is some transfer can't deny that but this is a really cute alternative to hair color like i said if you want to see what you'll look like with a certain color or if you don't want to damage your hair you've had horror you know you had horror stories with color don't want to damage your hair um if you just scared if you want going on vacation and you just kind of want to like let your hair down a little bit and get funky with some colors but you know maybe at work you can't have certain colors this is a really good alternative no this video is not sponsored i shouldn't have to say that but it is what it is no it's not sponsored purchase the stuff with my own money and i just wanted to first of all support the company because i've been following um donna leanne who is the ceo of gemini natural since she was on youtube chronic curls like i have been following her for a long time i genuinely wanted to support her business and i wanted to see you know how the product works in my hair and you know i mean here we are like do i have to say anything else like is there anything else to say sis like so now that we see my results and we see that i'm over here looking real good like a fine grape like barney like royalty like anything purple now y'all know what's really good on my end i will see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>